All right, welcome back to Minecraft. Let's go ahead and jump into our world. Um, you sure? Oh, we're on a new version of Minecraft here. Let's see. Um, we'll just back up and load here. All right. Cool, cool. I guess we have a new version of Minecraft. I did see there were bees on the title screen. That's neat. That might be a new feature, I guess. Um, if bees are now in Minecraft, that'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, let us let me take some inventory and see where I'm at from yesterday. I'm going to eat an apple right now to replenish my health. But uh, where are we at from yesterday? We're cooking some fish. We're cooking some more bricks. And I think yesterday, yeah, we had found some raiders. Yeah, there they are. They're over there. Uh, we have a few raiders here. Um, they're going to be a bit of a challenge to deal with. Um, I know they're generally pretty strong. And there's a whole lot of them over there, as you can see. But um, we finished up the steps, I believe, in the last video here. Let's take a step down here. Yep, we finished up our steps. And we'll probably do some remodeling over time. But uh, I was thinking maybe this episode we could go on a mining trip. That would allow us to get some stuff uh, for this cobblestone basement here. Maybe some some more cobblestone, because as you can see, I'm plum dry on cobblestone. So uh, let me just harvest some of this stuff here, this charcoal. And I do have a little bit of fish, uh, which can last me a while uh, in the mines uh, as far as food goes. So let's just collect all my charcoal. Yeah, that's all of it that I have. And what we can do is uh, empty out my inventory real quick here. I'm just going to turn the rest of these into bricks. Then we'll put that away, put this away. Put the birch log away. And, oh, we were going to get some sand cooking. Yeah, that's what we are going to do, get some windows in the house. Uh, let me get that going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe is what we need. Six um, in order to make some, some glass panes to brighten up our house here. Those raiders, they're just going to sit around over there and, and do their thing. I'm going to try and escape to the mines without them seeing me there. Um, let's get started here. Uh, just watch some of this glass go. And I'll, before we head out to the mine, I will get that glass going. And um, we'll put up some panes on our house here. Uh, I do have a little bit of food here. And one thing we could do is start making a farm, start laying out our farm in general. Uh, just so that when we get back from the mines, maybe we have some iron, we can uh, make a bucket and, and finish up our farm area. So let's clear out some of this here. Oh, there's a skeleton as well. That might be pretty useful too, uh, if we can kill him and get his bones. Um, but I'm thinking my farm would just go maybe just right behind the house here, and it'll be pretty small at the start, but um, over time we'll grow that. That's probably good, just like that. And uh, I don't know how close I want it to be to the little shack, though. Maybe maybe one right here is just going to be fine. Uh, and I'm planning on structuring it pretty similar to how villages have it structured, where they just have um, you know a whole row like that. I'm not sure how far or how long I want to make it. I might make it um, a pretty long structure, and I'll fill in the rest with dirt. But pretty much what we're looking at is I'll do a little terraforming here. But we're looking at just creating a structure like this and um, and then filling in some water where we have uh, dirt, 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 a strip of water going down the middle, and then dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, let's see. Get rid of that. And so let me just mark off with the oak. I don't have nearly enough oak to finish this project right now, but let me just kind of mark off in general where I want this to go. And maybe, maybe I'll move off in this direction with the farm. If it's just going to be one farm, I might just go in this direction over here and maybe cover up this cave a little bit that, rather than um, go, in the, um, go in the other direction, go over there, because that way I have like a nice curved hillside, which might be something I want to keep on here. Um, so what would this accommodate? Would it, if I, could I line it up with a house if I had log... Dirt, 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 water, dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, so it would actually line up with the house. So let me uh, set a, a log maybe like right here. And this will actually be the guide I use. And we'll come back over here and and uh, do some terraforming and clean this all up once we're done on our mining trip. But it's good to have a little plan for where the farm's going to go. Uh, let's head in here and see. Our, it looks like our glass is done. We can make some glass panes out of this. 
believe that's the recipe. There we go. And now we can bust out the walls here and make some windows. I'm thinking maybe we'll definitely have this center area busted out here. Um, but do we also want to, to bust out this next row? Um, that is the question. Let's see. Maybe bust this out here. And that's that's probably pretty good. How many panes do I have? 16, so five, five. And then maybe I'll do five right here. And then that way we can kind of see our farm. Then one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be just enough panes. We'll have one left over. Uh, room for one error. Let's see. There we go. All right, cool. So that brightens up our house a little bit, just having it all open like that. We can see the terrain around us and whatnot. So let's put that glass pane away. I think that's a pretty um, pretty sweet addition to our house. It makes it look a little, uh, little more open in here, and I like the look of that. So um, let's go ahead and run down into the mines and harvest up some coal and iron. That's, oh, we got a trader right there. That scared me. So the traders, I'm not too familiar with these guys, so they trade, you know, emeralds for all sorts of things, like cactus and uh, pods, podzel, not familiar with that, but, uh, you know, we have flowers and slime balls and whatnot. That did scare me there, but uh, uh, give me a little uh, little jump scare of villager popping up, but uh, yeah, let's head to the mines. All right, you're not going to distract me from... Uh, Participating in our business of heading to the mines here. Let's see. Where are those guys? I don't want to get their attention. I think our ravine... I'm not sure exactly where our ravine is located. Um, I think it's farther over by where those pillagers are at. Let me just take a little scope over here. and see exactly where, where that ravine was. I know I continue to fall into it, and then when I want to find it, I can't. Uh, oh, it's right here. Here we go. So, yeah, let's just uh, see if I'm out of sight of these pillagers, and uh, did that get his attention? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, let's just head down into the mine, into the uh, the cave here. And there's all sorts of nasties that live down here in the cave, um, so hopefully I won't end up dying down here. It doesn't look like the pillagers saw me, so let's just... Uh, go ahead and do a little exploring and a little bit of mining. Just pick up some some coal and cobblestone and other kind of resources we'll use on our house. Uh, we have another cave over here. That's pretty nice. Nice little ravine system. Uh, let's clear this here. And I'm always just looking up uh, for those pillagers. If they come down here, I'll want to go uh, burrow into a hole and then kill them strategically if they see me. If not, we can just live peacefully, I guess. See, so, and I am on hard mode, so I'm especially uh, looking out for potential danger. Let's keep uh, mining here, and it's a lot more useful to work with coal than it is to work with charcoal, just because I'm straight to the source with my um, my resources. Rather than having to make my charcoal, I can just mine a bunch of coal and just kind of have it sitting in my reserves. Um, for whenever I need that. It's a lot more uh, of an efficient thing to use if you can. Um, one thing I could have uh, made as well would be a bed to bring down here with me in case I wanted to sleep down here. I could have uh, taken my bed and maybe I'll... I, I don't know. I don't think I'll make a trip back at the moment. Um, but that is one thing to remember going forward is bring the bed. Uh, just because I don't want to go past those pillagers. Is it getting dark out? It looks like it might be, and hmm. you know what, maybe, let me see if I could make a clear run back to the house uh, real quick, and I'll probably just sleep in the house tonight, and uh, since we're just so close, it's real convenient we have that ravine right there. Let me just uh, get an apple, keep myself full. Soldiers are still wandering around over there. Let's just sleep in the house tonight, and then I'll take the bed with me into the mines tomorrow, the next Minecraft day. So yeah, this looks real sweet. Like we can see the temple over there, we can see the sunset with uh, these glass windows in here. It uh, really makes the, the place look a lot better. 
And maybe, maybe I'll extend the glass out eventually if I get a little more sand. I could extend it out. Um, what is that sound? That's that traveling trader. He's still under our house. All right. Sounds good. All right, so let's strategic. Oh, I said I was going to take the bed. I did. Awesome. Uh, so let's strategically work our way back down here as to not be seen. And we'll just bolt. There we go. A little bit of a narrow ledge here, but it uh, looks like we're good to go. Let's block off this uh, this water source here. That way we can easily make it down the cave. There are no mobs over there. Let's put a block right there. And uh, the water should go away. All right, let's light this place up. And we can see the water still receding. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of water. Um, it was going a long way. So let's head in here, light this place up. Looks like I've been over here. Then mine down here. And we're just looking for iron and coal mostly. So there's nothing down here, it looks like. But... Um, Right here we do have some some coal. And once I have enough iron we can make some armor and whatnot. And I might end up doing a branch mining strategy. Uh, that's where we have a bunch of tunnels underground rather than going into caves like this. As it can be a bit more dangerous to do the strategy I'm employing right now of just coming down into the the caves here. some of this. Just with these open corridors there's a lot more room for uh, mobs and creepers and whatnot to come into here. And of course the scariest thing I've encountered in this video is that uh, traveling villager jump scaring me at the door. What? Why is it cobblestone down there? Is there lava down there? Quite possibly. Um, light this place up here. And I do have 34 coal, which is nice. Where's that skeleton at? Not sure. He's around here somewhere. Let's see. I don't know if I want to just go ahead and drop down there. Um, let me see. Let this, if I can make a little stairway down there. up and it would be nice to get maybe like a diamond pickaxe at some point um, just to be able to mine a bit faster let's put that uh, maybe right there and then complete our staircase here and always proceed with caution down into the ravine all right let's make some more torches here all right there we go and continue mining Oh, there was the lava I was talking about earlier. We'll just block that off. Uh, so I guess the water had um, had stopped the flow of that lava here. That's that's why um, when lava and uh, water mix, we get a uh, cobblestone or obsidian, depending on how they come into contact with one another. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, no, thank you. All right. Let's just cave up here. Alright, that was a close call. Somewhat of a close call. Um, but I am in a fine little house here. And one of the big problems is that I'm hungry. And when you're hungry, your hearts don't replenish. So, let's go ahead and get our hearts replenishing. I don't know why they may not be replenishing as quickly. Looks like it's just frozen up. Okay, there it goes. Wow, that seems like a slow process for replenishing. But, uh, let me mine down here a little bit and see if I can see that skeleton trying to attack us here keep working our way down and out here he's not over here I don't know maybe he's right on top of us um, and I'm hungry yet again we're gonna need to eat this fish no thank you oops nah. Nah. get back here yeah, this fish. I wonder why... Yeah, my heart's... See, my heart's replenished real quick when I eat meat. I wonder if that's a... Um, some sort of a... Like, maybe some more... Um, nourishing thing programmed in here or something like that. 
Um, but let's just work our way down here, and there's um, no shame in mining all this cobblestone here. Oh, there's a baby zombie. That's a problem. That is a big problem. We want to. Those guys can. They're real quick, and they can run uh, right through these smaller holes. So they're only one block tall. What is it with uh, my health not replenishing? Um, we do have a nice amount of iron though. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we could head up, make a chest plate, and then come back down here when I have a little more defense to fight these uh, these guys off. I would like to have a little bit more iron at least, just because I um I would like to make a sword as well to increase my attack abilities. But um, the eight iron is gonna be enough to get us a chest plate. And now I'm suffocating. All right, swing this gravel here. Where is that baby zombie located at? What is that over there? That's, uh, that's just stone. All right, let's keep working our way down here. No, thank you. He might. Oh, you okay. go. Oh, nice. There's a new look of flint there. New uh, style of it. Let me work my way back down here now that the skeleton has decided to come back and uh, pick a fight. We'll just. Um, Try and figure out where he. Oops, cut off my light source. Yeah, that baby zombie. Knowing where that baby zombie's at is so, so big just because they are super fast and super agile. Oh, there's a skeleton. There's a friend. And he walked away. I feel like that zombie's down here. Uh, Keep looking for the skeleton friend. I was in somewhat of retreat mode. And then... There we go. Oh gosh, that scared me. Alright, let's see here. Howdy. We need some bones. Alright. Looks like I may have um, taken a few arrows to the head, but we need those bones for growing our crops. Yeah, that baby zombie's going to be coming in here. Let's just cap that off. And probably head out. I'd like to find some iron on the way out here. Um, if I could find just maybe one, um, one more iron, that would be enough to get us a sword and a chest plate be super nice to have. Don't want to attract any baby zombies. There it is. Let's create a block so it can't get up here. Yeah, these guys are super nasty. Can't get up here, though. Let's just secure our position. Secure the high ground here. Um, being only one block high and super quick, those guys are deadly. Let's work our way out of here. A not so elegant execution of a, a mining trip, but um, let me just uh, start working my way across this ravine here, and maybe I'll grab that iron that's a little below me here. Um, work my way down here, and I can't reach it. Alright, there's that baby zombie running below us. Trying to figure out why he can't get to us all the way up here. Let's clear this area out a little bit. And this, yeah, this ravine looks super nice. Um, if all right, so that's one more iron for us. But let's get greedy and uh, and head over here a little bit. And we will definitely need more food. Uh, if we go on another mining trip, uh, before we go on a mining trip, we'll need to harvest some food. I do have a lot of wheat over in that swamp area where I had started to create a, a possible farm. Uh, but I think doing it in a uh, more uh, factory style setting where I have a nice layout going uh, and it's super easy to harvest would just be overall better. So um, let's work our way across a ravine real quick here. I wonder if I can reach. I can. Work 
our way across here and grab some of this coal and iron right up here. And you can see the sun is starting to go down. It's getting a little darker. And I will want to head out of here before it gets completely dark. But um, let's just pile up for the moment. Uh, we're at... Oh, there's a creeper. Yep. All right, let's took out my light. Uh, but yeah, that guy... I don't know where that guy came from. Probably somewhere like over here. Um, yeah, they, they can drop down. and Pretty uh, pretty explosive. So let me carve out a little hole here to live in for tonight. A little uh, sleeping place. And then head right over here. Start carving this area out. And this is just where I'll set up my um, sleeping bag for the night. And um, there we go head to sleep and uh, we'll wake up get the rest of that iron and head out of here there's our bed our pickaxe is running low something to keep in mind uh, but we are just right here with this iron and this is the main thing we're here for is just this iron uh, push us forward a lot and I did go a little over what I had said I was looking for but uh, that should help us out a lot yeah 51 so we have a lot of a lot of coal and a lot of iron to move forward from here let me build right there then we can head out so how did I get down here again I believe I came somewhere around here and then maybe up yeah there we go so let's dodge those pillagers again but that was a pretty successful mining trip maybe I shouldn't speak too soon um, dodge these pillagers here to run all the way back to the house. Where are they? are they still here? They are. I guess those guys, they don't go away. Um, so, uh, we do probably have that guy still under our house. Um, but we have a lot of coal and 21 iron. That is a pretty good, um, pretty good pull. Pretty good, um, and I'm using, let's use, um, let's use our charcoal since we're probably not going to be using that for much longer. Um, that was a pretty good successful mining trip and there's more of them. Do they just spawn more? Looks like they see me, but it doesn't... I guess they might spawn more. Do they see me? They're not shooting. That's weird. Yeah, they're all looking at me, but uh, they didn't, they're not coming over here. Um, but now with some improved iron tools here, we may have um, everything we need to um, to fight them off. We'll be able to get a sword, maybe some leggings, and pants as well. Yeah, they're, they're coming. So we might as well uh, finish up getting our iron going here and make some tools. So we have 21 iron to work with. I wonder how much um, how much we need. We need 15 for uh, leggings and a chest plate. And then two for a sword, so we're at 17, and we have four left over. That's enough to make boots. I'd like to make a pickaxe, though, so we're just going to go with the um, the leggings and the chest plate, and that should be enough. Um, and then we'll have a sword and a um, sword of pickaxe. That's pretty good. So let us... Oh, we'll also need some more food. That is absolutely another consideration. Um getting some more food here. I'll probably want to go fishing. That's a pretty good source of food, is just getting some more fish, apparently. Especially since the pillagers are kind of guarding our way to the swamp. And it looks like they're setting up like a perimeter on the house or something. But, um, yeah, there he is looking at me. Yeah. So, let us see. Let's go ahead and make our chest plate. And it looks like we can also make our pickaxe here at the same time. Get a, a second pickaxe, a little more of a, a newer one, a quip up, so we now have our suit up achievement. Oh, there's a builder. Oh, they're fighting the, the, uh, that guy. Did he come over here by himself? Let's see, while they're fighting each other, I might be able to get this guy. Don't want to track the other ones, but this guy wandered over here by himself, so... He's out of here. We are you spinning? That guy's spinning at me. Um, that uh, that uh, camel or alpaca. 
your boots trying to hop up on the screen here. All right, let's um, let's collect our ingots here, and so we have six ingots there. And where did the other pillagers head off to? It was pretty easy to get that one guy. He was just by himself over here, um, attacking our traveling trader. Where did the others go? Maybe they headed out? I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully they just went on their way. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's still some guys over here. Are they? They're not. There's more of them down the hill here, right? No, is it just the one? That's super odd. I guess did they despawn other than the one? They just left one guy hanging out. I guess they left one guy hanging out. I'm not sure what went on there. But uh, maybe if you just ignore them for long enough, they they do that. I don't know. Uh, do we have any arrows? No, we don't. So we'll just have to fight this guy strategically. It sounds like there's more of them. Why isn't he coming over here? Super odd. Oh gosh, it's one over here. He's trying to shoot at me. Oh, he did. He okay. That's the same guy. Um, oh, thank you. We have armor now, and pretty low health. Let me let me head out of here. I'll be back with an iron sword here in a second. Let's uh, replenish our health by eating our fish here. We got a crossbow from that one. Make ourselves leggings and a sword, and we can go fight back real quick. And that might be the end of the episode. If we um, get rid of that guy, we can uh, make some, some leggings here. Only we have one iron to spare. Awesome. So, let's see. Let's put that on. We upgraded our weapon. And he walked. He followed us over here? Is he fighting that guy now? Oh, he is. This is avenging the the life of our traveling trader here. We did get a lead uh, from the uh, the trader dying there from the um, the raider going ahead and, and killing him there. But uh, yeah, let's let's grab this fish real quick. Um, just as as some food here, do a little sword fishing. And I can actually get him with one swipe with this sword, so let me here and just get rid of the fish. I don't know if there are any more fish around here, but we can also use the fishing pole to get a little bit of food as well. Oh, there, there they are. There we go. Alright. And yes, this is, looks like I'll leave here with about seven fish, um, which is good. Uh, and maybe, yeah, maybe we don't even need to do fishing if um, we can just occasionally get some fish with a, a sword in the river. Right, let's these two. And I hear a zombie. Um, Alright, so we're at six fish already. There's some more over here. Let's see, how many do we have? Two? I thought there was maybe a way to swim in Minecraft. Am I, am I doing that now? I don't know. I'll have to look up how to exactly get into the swimming position and maybe travel a little faster underwater. Um, but uh, let's do a little exploring here. I just. Um, we have a lava pit. It's always nice to have a lava pit. Boots is trying to hop on my lap right now, but um, but yeah, I guess you know what? That's probably a good place to end the episode with with Boots coming in here, and uh, and we have eight fish to go ahead and cook up and eat, and we'll get our farm going here in the next episode. So yeah, I guess this has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.